today's class what I am going to give to you the complete overview of the business objects. Okay. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. So you are going to learn the business objects tool. So SAP is the vendor. BO stands for business objects. What is the purpose of this tool? Why the people are using this tool? It is a dynamic business intelligence reporting solution. In organization, if they want to do the analysis like in a branch, how much revenue I got, how many customers are coming daily, that type of the analysis, the management people, if they want to take an addition, they need the reports. So as per the business requirements, so to create the reports, we are using the business objects as a reporting solution to generate the reports. In the organizations, in the enterprises, some people are using the small database system if the organization is very small. If the organization is very big organization, they may use the warehouse system. SAP has their own warehouse system. Some people will have the Volap servers. So these are all I can say different enterprise source systems. So what is the purpose of this database system, warehouse system? Why the enterprises are using these source systems? Mainly to store their business data. It may be a history data it may be a current data, it may be analysis data. So the data is available in the source level. The business data is available on the source level. It may be a database system, some people use, some people use the warehouse system, some people use the lab systems. These are all different enterprise source systems. Main purpose, storing purpose. Okay. <coughs> one then I has one organization. She is using one database system, let us suppose. It may be Oracle, SQL, anything. What is the purpose of the database system? To store the data. Okay, she is the manager of that branch or CEO of that branch. She wants to do the analysis like how much revenue we got in this quarter and how much margins we are giving, how much discounts we are giving. So that type of the analysis, she want to do that. But she don't know how to communicate with the database system because she is belongs to management. She don't know how to communicate to the database system. If you want to talk to the database system, master should have the technical knowledge. Then only we can connect and we can see the data which is available on the database level. So business objects, what it will do, it will act as an interface between the enterprise source system and end, use, end users. It is acting as an interface. And what it is generating? Nothing but reports. It act as an interface, it is generating the reports based on the end user needs, based on the end user requirements. First one, querying three characteristic features. It is performing three characteristic features. First one, you can Query the data. Querying, I can say, I can say retrieving, I can say extracting the required data because the database system contains huge amount of the data. 
we don't need the complete data. Required data as per the end user need. That is the first one. As per the end user requirement, take the required information only from source. Second one, representation. Representing the source data as a report. Okay, very good. In the first two characteristic feature, you have retrieved. Then where I have to represent? That is the second characteristic feature, representation as a report. How I am going to report, I am going to create a report using different styles, very user friendly. The styles like text representation and charts representation. Creation of report is nothing but whatever the data you have taken from the source system you should represent as different styles of tables like vertical, horizontal, cross tab, forms. Not only the tables, I can use chart representation style, bar chart, line chart, area chart, pie charts. So that is nothing but representation. Creation of report is nothing but using these formats whatever the data you have taken from the source system we are generating as a report then after generation of the report we will give these reports to the end users then they will analyze so that is the main purpose if they want to do the analysis we are generating the reports these are the three characteristic features of business objects whatever the source may be querying, reporting, analyzing. These are the main three characteristic features. And simply, I can say, it is a reporting tool. It is used for reports generation. That is the purpose of this tool. Why the people are using business objects? Nothing but generating the reports. Up to 2008, business objects, it has their own vendor, own product up to 2008. After 2008, this was purchased by the SAP. Now, business objects vendor is the SAP. So till 2008, most of the warehousing projects, they are using the business objects as a reporting solution and still some people are using that time Cognos and different different tools are available. So business objects is a one of the reporting tool in warehousing projects. So, but SAP has their own warehouse system. SAP has their own business warehouse system simply SAP BW like a if it is a normal warehousing projects we have the informatica like SAP has their own tool that is called SAP BW they are using BEX query as a reporting tool but after 2008 the business objects purchased by the SAP, now what they are doing, business objects they are also using. SAP people also using the business objects as a reporting solution. So now we have a very good market. The normal warehousing projects and also SAP warehouse projects everybody they are using the business objects as a reporting tool that is the main beauty of now we have the normal warehousing projects and also SAP warehousing projects so business objects will support the non-SAP source systems as well as SAP source systems Query reporting 
and analyze it. These are the main three characteristic features. Whatever the source, we don't bother. It is just a connections creation only. Whether they have the a database system, whether they have the warehouse system, whether they have the SAP environment system, we don't bother. As a business objects developer, we need to know the functionality of BO only. How the technical terminology, how the function terminals in the business objects we are learning. But how they are maintaining their database system or warehouse system, we don't bother. It is just a connection creation. Finally, we are retrieving. We are querying. It may be a SAP data. It may be a non-SAP data. We don't bother. So that's the reason. Now the market is very good for the business objects because it is supporting for the non-SAP as well as SAP. So now the vendor for the business objects is the SAP. Finally, we are generating the reports only. So that is the purpose of business objects. Generating the reports, whatever the source may be. It may be a database system, it may be a file, it may be a warehouse, it may be a SAP. We don't bother. We are generating the reports. That is our work. Clear? Any doubts? No. Okay. <coughs> Source is SAP. Is it like what kind of data is it? Like is it in terms of like dimension tables? How how the data is? Yeah, they are also using the cubes. Nothing but dimension tables and fact tables only. Okay, so whatever it may be, we don't bother that. So we are going to learn the business objects. That is generating the reports. So as I mentioned above, Vandana has one organization, she is using our IT database. Okay. In her organization, our IT database contains all the domains of information, sales, purchase, HR, finance, all the domains of information, which is available in 100 tables. So what is the meaning of t database? Nothing but collection of tables. Okay. 100 tables, the information, it is available on the database level. Okay. Rajni is the sales manager. Okay. I am the purchase manager in your organization. So Rajni want to see the sales information only. From the database, what she expecting? Sales information. As a sales manager, she want to see only sales information. So as a purchase manager, what information I am expecting? Purchase information. Like that, different end users have the different requirements. Some people have the some requirements, some other people have the some other requirements. But all the information where it is available out of the hundred tables only. If I want to view the information, then I have to give the access to the entire database. And the sales people expecting some manipulations to the tables. Purchase will expecting some manipulations on the tables level. But the database level we should not do anything. So what we can do? So the best solution providing the business objects to provide the different information for the different people and if you want to do the manipulations, business objects providing first, create a, a semantic layer concept. What is going to maintain there? Nothing but structure. That means, sales people purpose, please create a sales semantic layer, which is going to maintain completely sales structure. Purchase people purpose going to maintain purchase semantic layer, which is going to maintain completely purchase information. Like that, your 
entire source structure we are going to divide as a different semantic layers concept. So first we are designing the semantic layer, nothing structure creation, structure creation or manipulations based on the report needs. Based on the report needs, first we are designing the semantic layer concept. We can say semantic layer, we can say metadata layer, we can say interface. Interface, but within the business objects, technically we are calling as a universe. So business objects is nothing but first to design the structure based on the reports needs. If the reports are expecting 10 reports they have given, if the 10 reports are satisfying only 10 tables of information in the database level, then please create the 10 tables of structure first. Depends on the reports needs, then please create the first universe concept. So sales purpose, we can create a sales universe. Then I can create the sales reports. For the purchase people purpose, please create the purchase universe. Then I can create the purchase reports. Like that, based on the reports needs, we are going to maintain the concept called universe concept. If you want to see one example, I will show you. One organization, their name is Fashion Warehouse. They have nearly in their warehouse system 100 tables of information. And they are expecting only 10 fashion reports. 10 fashion reports they are expecting. Those 10 fashion reports are satisfying only 10 tables of information for a 10 reports. Then what we are going to maintain for those 10 tables we are going to create a structure, nothing but the structure creation called universe. Then I can create the fashion reports on top of that universe. I will show you. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Yes. Is it like duplicate data how to maintain that? Like we have hundred tables here. Yes. Then we have a ten tables in fashion warehouse. Yes. Is it like duplicate data? We are we are not loading any, not duplicating anything. Structure only we are maintaining here. The finally the data is coming from the database system. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. We are not right. doing yeah, exactly, exactly, view concept. In the database level, you have a view concept. In the business of an environment, we are calling as a universe. Let me show the example. This is the tool called Universe Designer Tool. So using this tool only, we are generating the universe concept. I am going to open which is already created one for fashion warehouse purpose. Fashion warehouse purpose, we already created one universe. Can you see the right hand side? Mm -hmm. This is the structure creation. This is the structure creation. Nothing but they have given the 10 reports. Then the database level, we need the 10 tables of information. Then in the universe creation level, we can take those 10 tables. We can maintain some relations between them. That is called a structure creation panel whether they have the joints in the database level we don't bother it's a depends on your report needs you can do the structure creation manipulations everything you can do here this is called a structure creation panel right hand side simply 
tables and joints only the right hand side view after creation of right hand side left hand side if you observe it is showing some folders mm -hmm. left hand side nothing but right hand side it is table and column when it comes to left hand side we are calling table is going to convert as class that folder concept nothing but class under that we have the objects table is going to convert as class fields are going to convert as the objects right hand side it is table and fields when it comes to left hand side we are calling classes and objects that is the left hand side panel so finally after creation of universe we are expecting the left hand side panel only after creation of the left hand side panel let us suppose structure creation is done that is universe creation is done by using universe designer tool universe name called e fashion universe okay they are expecting fashion reports that's the reason we created one universe system using the universe designer tool then the three flavors we have to generate the reports first flavor web intelligence reporting tool so web intelligence the name itself having everything we are going to do in the online sharing purpose notifications purpose analyzing purpose everything we can do in the online that is the beauty of uh, that web intelligence flavor i will show you how to create that authentication is required So I am going to create a, a new document using the e fashion. Whatever the universe we created, that is my input to create the re report. Input is the e fashion universe which we created. Then you can observe this is called a query panel in the report creation. In the report creation level. when you are using the universe what you can see the left hand side of the universe only whatever the universe designer level they maintain the left hand side panel suresh what is the password i will give don't worry okay i will give don't worry okay so this is the universe we created and we maintain the left hand side panel then when i am creating the report for using that universe i can see only that the left hand side panel only then i can use those classes i can use those classes and objects then you can generate the report then the report will generate the report has generated that is the default format no that can be represented in different styles these are all the different representation styles very user friendly this is the first flavor to generate the report this is called web intelligence document universe designer tool that is for universe creation that is for structure creation web intelligence is the one of the tool to represent into different styles that is nothing but report creation we will we will give this report to the end user then they can analyze this is the first flavor business objects also providing one more flavor to generate the report that is called crystal crystal reporting tool 
I will show you how the look and feel of the crystal. Compared to Webby, that is Web Intelligence, your crystal report is not that much user friendly. same query panel, same class and objects I am using. This is the concept of the query panel in crystal. In crystal. I have a question for you. Tell me. Uh, you know, for business objects, we create few more. And then on top of it, we will be creating the report, right? For crystal, report, uh, crystal reporting, what, uh, from where do we get this uh, report from? Do we create a universe there too, or we use the uh, ready for uh, universe creation? The How main purpose of uh, universe creation only for web intelligence only. Oh, crystal okay. report advantage, the main advantage of crystal report no need of the any universe concept. Okay. If you have your data source system directly, if you have a database system, if you have a warehouse, if you have a personal file, if you have a database file, no need of the universe creation. I can directly connect. That is the main beauty of the crystal. I'll show you, don't worry. This is the just look and feel of the crystal. Compared to Webby, it's not user friendly, but some advantages. It can connect to the source system directly, no need of the universe. More functions, more options compared to Webby. That is for very user friendly, but options wise, this is the very useful crystal report. So Webby has some advantages, that is Web intelligence has some advantages, crystal report has some advantages. Finally, we were providing one more flavor to generate the report, that is called dashboard. The main advantage of this da dashboard, data visualization. That is the main beauty of this dashboard. I will show you one example. Very useful to the higher level people mainly. Whenever they, if they want to give any presentations, anything. Data visualization. That is the main degree of the dashboard. This is the one sample dashboard. Can you see that? Data completely visualizing. That is the beauty of the dashboard. These are the main three flavors to generate the reports in business objects in environment. First, designing the structure that is called universe designer tool then first flavor to generate the report that is called webby document and the second flavor to generate the report that is a crystal report creation and the third flavor is the dashboard these are the tools are available in business objects you are going to learn these tools universe designing Webby document creation, crystal report document creation, and finally dashboard. That's about the business objects. Okay. Any queries? Yeah. Are these crystal reports the same like uh, what we had before, or is it some different crystal reports? Some new features are added. That's only the same what you had, what they implemented in the starting days. The look and feel little bit changed and the same reporting creation only. Okay. And for uh, um, this uh, dashboard, we don't need the universe? We don't need any universe. Just the dashboard input is the Excel sheet actually. Okay. If you see the bottom, we have the spreadsheet data only. Taking the input from spreadsheet. So input is the spreadsheet here not the database and not universe. Okay. 
we'll discuss deeply don't worry coming classes that's about the introduction of the business objects the overview and the tools are available